What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking to Air Jordan 1 High 85 Metallic Burgundy. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but to start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, you already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive in today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking to Air Jordan 1 High 85 Metallic Burgundy. All right, man, we're going to be keeping things very simple over here today. We're going to be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release June 22nd to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $200, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price, and right now, look like they're going to be low retail, surprisingly averaging $95 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay, what a major difference. So, with all that being said, now I think this is pretty much a real retro, right? That actually dropped back in the day in the 1980s. Um, obviously 85 cut, there's your hint right there. Um, I believe this is actually supposed to be a part of like a team pack colorway for Jordan 1s. Probably, probably, probably gave the teams options to have like Jordan 1s with just to be able to match their uniforms if I had to guess. But don't quote the kid because probably wasn't around or thought of at that time. But here we are, now we got the metallic burgundies here. And I will say this, I've been saying this time and time again <laughs> with all of the Jordan 1s, whether it's an 85 cut or whether it's just a regular Air Jordan 1, Nike and Jordan brand. I know y'all are the billion dollar company. However, bro, I must speak for myself. I am Jordan 1 fatigue, whether it's an 85 cut or whether it's just an irregular Air Jordan 1, right? Hi. Um, overall, dope shoe, dope concept. Obviously, it's a classic shoe, timeless shoe, especially for the OGs who really want to grab these that probably couldn't get them back in the day or probably just wasn't readily available the way it is now. Um, I'm not going to say these aren't going to sell out, but I'm going to say this. I know those are those people who really, and I can think of one person off the top of my head, um, that pretty much loves the burgundy colorway. So there's definitely an audience for this, and this is why Nike them make the big bucks. But the shoe is overall plain Jane, if you ask the kid. But I will still wanted to do a video on these guys right here because, I mean, it's still plain Jane where... Not that it's so plain where it doesn't have an audience because I feel like you can still get a lot of things off with this fit. But at the same time, bro, like, I don't know. What are we really gonna do with it? I feel like if you're looking for a nice beater Jordan 1, this possibly could be that shoe. But at the same time, bro, I will say this, and I've said this time and time again in my video uh, and all my other videos I'm trying to say here. Uh, Jordan 1s are probably the most Jordans I have in my collection by default, mainly because Jordan brand and Nike them released so many Jordan 1s. At one point, you know, when I was buying all those Jordan 1s, I didn't think nothing of it. But now, when I look back at my collection behind me, I'm like, bro, I really got a Jordan, lot of Jordan 1s. And I know what you're saying, like, yo, you don't even rock Jordan 1s like that on the regular in your weekly sneaker rotation. Trust me, I could easily probably do a month's worth of Jordan 1 sneaker rotations, which I may do that this summer. And actually, that idea just popped in my head, right? Fun facts, right? Okay, sometimes this stuff just comes to you. But anyway, I say all that to say, like, that's why I'm Jordan 1 fatigue, but I'm not gonna take away from the shoe. I still think it's got a place. I just feel like we could have waited a little bit longer to see this drop, man. Not even possibly even push it to next year. But again, I've been saying this time and time again, as Jordan brand and Nike brand officially out of ideas. I know we've seen this time and time again over the years where all they do is just pretty much give us the same silhouettes, just give us different color palettes. It's okay, and it's good to see retros and we do need it too. So I can play devil's advocate all the way across the board. But when it comes to these metallic burgundy Jordan 1 high 85 cuts for the kid, personally, these will be a skip. Not a bad shoe, but I know I just wouldn't rock it enough to justify especially paying $200 for it, right? Okay, sheesh, Jordan Brand, cut us a break on that one, right? Okay, so overall for the kid, these will be a skip, 
But I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. And will you be going after these on June at 22nd? Retailing at $200. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you know, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.